This is a video that I've made so that all the sections of the courses I'm teaching in uh, this, this semester, both the Intro to Business course, the CAP 506 course, and the Global Marketing course, uh, can understand how to communicate by responding to the YouTube videos. It's very simple. You basically have to set yourself up a YouTube account. But I'm going to tell you how I want you to do that uh, and identify yourself so I can know who you are and what course you are, etc. And also how to make comments on the videos which can earn you uh, class participation marks and so on. The reason why we're doing this is because teaching online is more than just put your PowerPoints on a website. That's not teaching online. This is just broadcasting. Teaching online has to be a two-way process. It's not just the prof talking and you look at the videos. But what makes it really effective is if you get to be able to contribute and make comments either synchronous or asynchronous what that means is either at the same time he's talking or a couple hours later at two o'clock in the morning so that you can make some comments back and the reason why that's interesting is because he knows not only that you heard what was said but that you had some opinion about whether you agree or disagree or you want to add on some more information or something about your experience and that's a real communication back and forth and then the second thing that's really interesting is that another student can see your comment and either agree or disagree. So maybe I'm talking about something in business about entrepreneurship. And I'm saying something about, yeah, in 2020, a lot of students don't want to work for a big, huge company. They want to start off their own little business. And there may be another student that says, yeah, I agree with that. My uncle did that, and I think it's a great idea. If you work for a big, huge company, you might get laid off. So that's the kind of communication we want to have back and forth. So when I do these YouTube videos, I want you to make comments on the videos, and that's how you can earn some class participation marks. Because my YouTube profile is set to my email address for Seneca, and then when you make the comments, it shows up as a little email, and I know who it was, and so on. So I want to talk about how we identify yourself so I know who you are, and that it's not just badnancy34 at hotmail.com, but I can actually understand that your name matches the name on the class list. Here's why I need you to put the last letter of your last name. I need to find you on the class list. You can't just say Ken.